Hey everybody, I'm Kale. And I'm Ricky. And welcome to See No Movie, Hear No Movie, where one of us doesn't see the movie and the other one doesn't hear the movie. Uh, what are we watching today? Godzilla with Brian Cranston. All right, heads, uh, you don't get to see it, and tails, you don't get to hear it. Okay. Tails! I think I win on this one, because yeah, I get to see it. I, so. don't, I don't get to see Godzilla. That sounds like it would be fun to see. Oh, is it over? I couldn't fucking tell. <laughs> All right, so uh, the first question we have to answer is, uh, did we actually do this? Yes. Yep. Not seeing it was a huge mistake. I basically heard monster noises the whole time. Just yeah. snarling and just going Arr! And that's it. I don't know who was what. I don't know who is winning. I don't know who's alive at the end. It looks amazing, but like ha the the whole movie, they're like constantly laying out plans for what they're gonna do. Yeah. And I had no idea what the plan was, so I would just have to wait 15 minutes and see it play out. It didn't seem like we saw Godzilla very much. Did we see God? Because I, it um, didn't. I didn't hear him very often. You don't see him as much as you would think. But yeah. but when you do see him, it is so. So great. Awesome. Did it sound cool? What did he sound like? His roar, which by the way I counted, he did five times. Mm -hmm. Every single time I got a boner. Yeah. It was just the best thing ever. I'm gonna change my ringtone on my phone to that. Did you know and how many other monsters were in this movie that Godzilla was fighting? There was three total monsters. Yes. Um, there was Godzilla, and then there was two monsters. Because remember, they're explaining it. Yeah, I didn't know that there was two that they were two different ones because they kind of in the beginning of it they don't show too much of. Oh both really? Of them. And then so when they both showed up, I was like, okay. So what did they look like? Because I didn't know. Kind of like a cockroach, I guess, a little bit. Uh, like like maybe like a praying mantis mixed with like flying cockroach. Do they fuck? Because they're supposed to be mating. I didn't see any fucking, but I I knew that they were somewhat related because they had, the female one has this sack of eggs that she's carrying around with her that are always glowing and moving. And Ugh. So, yeah. Uh, so I, that's what I figured. I figured that they were mates. Unconfirmed. Yes. Sex scene unconfirmed. Yes. How was the fight between Godzilla and the monsters? One of the most incredible fight scenes I've ever seen in any movie. <sighs> and this, the CG on the destruction in this movie is like something I've never seen before. The scale of the destruction is, is amazing. They get pushed into buildings and the buildings <laughs> just fall over. They like- San Francisco, for the Golden Gate, did that get hurt? Oh all? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, got, that got fucked up. Obviously since this is like a Godzilla movie, how many people fucking died in this movie? Close to half a million, I would think. <laughs> Cause like every step, that's what you're like, the scale is just so immense that every step and every, is you see uh, the one come down and land on a building and then the, the top 10 stories of the building just evaporate under its feet. So there's hundreds of people just there. Just dead, all the janitors yeah. are gone. There's some spots where you where you see people die, like close up kind of, like uh, getting squashed under a foot or something oh, like that. And that's what I want to see! Since I couldn't hear it, I had no idea what this guy's role was throughout the movie. He like, was an old Japanese, like scientist looking guy. And to me, it looked like his only role in this movie was to look off in the distance really confused. There was at least 15 shots of this guy looking like this. <laughs> at the end of the movie, when stuff kind of gets wrapped up and you're like, there's no way he's gonna do it again. He does it again and I laughed out loud. Did Godzilla do that like laser mouth thing that he does sometimes? Yes! Yes! Yes, yes. yes. Was there a different sound that you heard when he did that? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't really know how because to do that, but it looked awesome. Uh -huh. It looked so cool. How many times did he do it? Uh, he he kind of held it as a special move. <laughs> so it was made. It was up maybe, down, up down, left, right, A start. Yeah, four times. Four. Like, look, when shit started to get real crazy in the end of the movie, that's when he unleashed the, the oh, power. Oh, that's badass. Yeah. So. Why does Godzilla exist? He just woke up because he wanted to fight those dudes. Like that's literally, they're like, oh, here, here comes another guy. And then they're like, let him fight him. And then he fight, fought him. And then I don't, I don't know what happened after that. So did they know that Godzilla was on their side? Only the Japanese guy knew. Okay. Like he's like, guys, I'm Japanese. Trust me on this shit. Okay, so I maybe, got this. maybe when he was looking confused at the camera half the times, it was because he was like, why are these people fighting Godzilla? He's here to save you. Stop shooting him. There's a lot of moments where the main actors connect with Godzilla in a weird way. They give him thumbs up and then he gives like thumbs the up or The what? main guy, Brian Cranston's son, the main soldier guy. Okay. Uh, Godzilla like collapses 
and uh, and just and they stare and at they each other for a while. Oh. Yeah, they have like a they have a moment where they like kind of look at each other and and go yeah. <laughs> like a solidarity moment. Did fucking Brian Cranston die in the first act? He doesn't die right away, but he, yeah, he dies. He dies pretty quickly. They sold us on Brian Cranston being like, he's in the whole trailer. Yeah, he's uh, he's gone pretty quick. The main the. Uh, his son and uh, Elizabeth Olsen's character are the main stars of the movie. Does it set up for a sequel? Yes, I think so. And I, I hope that they do it and they keep doing it like the way they did with the old movies where they bring in new people for them to fight because that's, they kind of just need to live up to, to that. They, they need to just bring stuff for Godzilla to fight and that's the movie. You don't need to wrap this whole storyline around it yeah. because you really don't give a shit about any of the actors or actresses in, the, in this movie. I didn't. When Godzilla's on screen fighting, that's what you want to see right. and that's what everyone stood up and applauded for. So you would see a sequel then? Absolutely. All right. Yep. Out of uh, 10, what are you gonna give Godzilla? Eight and a half Asian guys staring confused at the camera. Oh, nice. That's, mm -hmm. that, that's pretty good. It's a, it's a really good scene. So I, you'd recommend yeah. everybody see it? Everyone should and go see it. And you have to see it in theaters? Yes. So, because I couldn't see the whole reason everybody's going to see the movie, I would give it four fire in my lasers out of ten. Four? Yeah, that, that was the a audio, The story was that super bad? Super dumb story. The only thing that saved it was Godzilla's roar and all the snarling and like, like really awesome boom. But everybody's lines were dumb. Okay. But let yeah. us know which summer movies you'd like us to see. We're not doing it for X Men: Days of Future Past because I want to both see it. Every, everyone movie. wants to see that. And absolutely. And it, yes. We may do Maleficent if you guys are interested in that. Please let us know in the comments. We'll see you guys next time. I have to go watch Godzilla again now because I didn't get to see it. Well, you're gonna enjoy it. Thanks.